Hello there, I'm Black Bright, and I decided this morning to talk about the agreement that Jamaica has just signed with China, a 64 billion US dollars agreement. It's the Belt and Road Initiative. Um, last year, China, um, I shouldn't say got Africa, but Africa signed, Sub-Saharan Africa signed a 60 billion Belt and Road Initiative. And this Belt and Road Initiative, you need to look it up. It links um, Asia, now the Caribbean with Jamaica, Africa and Europe with China. And it's supposed to facilitate trade and cooperation and all that kind of stuff. But what I see in this is a stocks and bond process. I see that Jamaica has now sold off for 64 billion its, its birthright, its infrastructure, everything. They'd already sold off the farmland. They've already sold off um, the, the, the uh, Jamaica's bank. They've already sold off agriculture. They've already, you know, and when you think about in 1692, that's when the stocks and bond process was in play. The Jamaicans and the agriculture was the stock and then the bond was the price that the bondholders or the slave masters put on the Jamaicans and their agriculture and it was a trade-off. Now what is the difference? In 2019 for 64 billion pounds Jamaica has signed the Belt and Road Initiative. Now you can't blame China. You can't say, oh, these Chinese are everywhere. You can't blame them because they've dangled the carrot and greedy, myopic government officials and leaders have grabbed the carrot. They've given no thought to future generations. They have not thought about the, it, the, it selling their birthright and everything that they have. I mean, in a few years time, It'll be, a, it'll be a Chinese state because there is no way that Jamaica can pay it back. Now, what this um, Belt and Road Initiative is, it's, a, it's kind of a link and it's supposed to link um, all the different um, countries. And obviously, Jamaica has been seen as an asset. And the sad thing about Jamaica is that everybody outside Jamaica sees its value, except for the people in itself. Everybody outside Jamaica sees the value of Jamaicans, except Jamaicans. And I don't know why that is. You know, with such a strong, resilient race, with talent, when you think about all the brilliant artists, the sports people, the land, the you know, that you've got natural sun, natural fruits. God gave them everything to build their own independent base. And they've sold every element of it off now. There's nothing left to sell. Anyway, um, what I wanted to read out to you, I mean, you can find this in the Jamaican Observer or the Jamaican Gleaner. I think it was just signed, I think it was signed on the 5th of May, which took anyway, a couple of days ago. Um, and if you've ever wondered why um, Jamaica doesn't build schools and hospitals, it's because it's indebted to the IMF and they tell them what they can buy. I was watching this video about this, actually, and I'm going to put the link. It's called The History of Jamaica and Jamaicans, and it's got the link about that. Um, but apparently Jamaica is one of the most indebted countries in the world, has the most debt. It, um, its debt exceeds its GDP. So it's not a pretty picture. Um, I wanted to read what the Chinese ambassador, Tian Qi, he praised Jamaica's decision to sign on this mammoth Belt and Road initiative, saying it was a new era of mutual development and cooperation between two nations. Um, Tian said Jamaica was right to sign 
no, was right to join other countries and international organizations in positioning itself to reap rewards from this initiative. Looking into the future, this is the ambassador, I envisage high quality belt and road cooperation in enhancing connectivity by promoting policy synergy, infrastructure, development, unimpeded trade, financial cooperation and people to people bond, thereby enhancing practical cooperation for the well-being of our peoples. So what the Jamaican government doesn't realise is that it is preparing Jamaica for a takeover. That's my opinion. That's how I see it. I mean, they've done the same with Africa. Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, they're, they, they've, I don't know where China gets all this money from. 60 billion here, 64 billion here. They really are preparing for a world takeover. Um, so they're talking about unimpeded trade. I don't understand how this Belt and Road Initiative is going to help unimpeded trade when Jamaica's got nothing to trade off with. They, they've sold everything, so what are they trading? So yes, it does look attractive on paper, but you have to look. You see, you see, arrogance can make people blind. And if somebody tells you, oh, you know, we, it's going to improve cooperation, it's going to improve trade, you have to ask yourself, hold on a minute, but we don't own anything. We haven't got anything to trade. Who are we going to trade with? People don't even like Jamaicans for the most part. They love Jamaica. They love the sun. They love the food. They love the music. They'll come and they'll go. But who are they trading with? Um, financial cooperation. How are they going to? How can there be financial cooperation when they're when they're in debt to that degree? And then it says people to people bond. Who are these people that they're bonding with? So you've now signed this agreement for Jamaica, 64 US billion dollars for this Belt and Road Initiative, which is similar to the Silk Road. Just look this up in Google so you can get an understanding of what I'm talking about. It's called the Belt and Road Initiative. And um, yeah, it sold its indigenous rights and its birthright. And in, in fact, it's denationalized itself, to be honest, because what's going to be left? I don't know. Um, what did I say? I just think Jamaica's going to cease to exist. I mean, I love Jamaica to death, but, you know, the way things are looking, it's not going to be Jamaica as we know it. And it's such a small island. That's what I don't understand. For Sub-Saharan Africa, which is massive, they gave 60 billion US dollars. And for a small island like Jamaica, 64 billion US dollars. Doesn't make sense. But who am I to say? I'm just a little vlogger on YouTube. Anyway, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to leave your comments positive comments. Well, not necessarily positive, but interesting comments. Okay then, that's all for now. Bye-bye.